Welcome back to SV Blown Away. In this week's episode, we have some buddy boats with us, which means only one thing. It's a race. In last week's episode, I turned rescue swimmer. We are Natalie, Ian and Nelson. And we are sharing our adventure with you. Sit back, grab a coffee and enjoy this week's episode. those of you out there that ask the question, where does our dog poop? This is the answer. We take him ashore. Every morning, as soon as Nelson wakes up, one of us takes him off the boat. This can be before or after sunrise. Nelson loves exploring all the new places we visit. He truly is a salty old sea dog. It's really weird because there's absolutely no wind in here at all. Nothing. Look at the water. Look at the water. Nothing. And yet, the turbines... The turbines are all spinning quite well. With little to no wind in our anchorage, our wind turbine is producing no power. So in order to run our fridge, our water maker, our windlass and other systems, we deploy our additional solar panels. These tents on our foredeck are deployed to give Nelson shade, but they also make a great base for our additional solar panels. We are anchored in the tiny village of Buffalo, which is on the west coast of the island of Evia. Buffalo is a picturesque fishing village that provides a safe anchorage for passing yachts. When we asked at the local taverna if she could do eggs for breakfast, she went to check the chickens. Eggs at their freshest. We stayed for a couple of peaceful nights in Buffalo before leaving for Alivari. We have just left the quaint little village of Buffalo on the island of Evia. Uh, we are now heading north to a little place called Alaveri. And if you look behind us, emphasize behind. Because we were, in the, we were anchored in the entrance of the harbour now. <laughs> we couldn't get out. You will see Peomia and Wish. Peomia is just there, no sails up, not even making any kind of effort. Wish making an effort, possibly a misjudged one.
Oh, let's nail Delos to a tree. You pinching more to windward? I think James made a tactical error there, Nat. Went into the coast, there's more wind out here for sure. Start dumping useless stuff over the side. Nelson! Go! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going port side two. Bring me a midships line, please. Me down that. <laughs> now get our midships line back on, please. Give me a bit of slack on the bow, please. Now I'm going to use that spring to come in. Okay. We sat on a fender. That's why I was asking to get lines on because we were drifting back towards Wish and I don't want to. We spent several days in Alaveri while Jay and Hannah had to take their head salt to Athens to be repaired. Although a commercial port, Alaveri also caters for leisure vessels. Having paid a small fee to dock on the wall, water and electricity was available free of charge. Ahead of our dock there was an amazing beach bar. Also as you walked around the harbour there were several other tavernas serving typical Greek cuisine. Alaveri is mainly an industrial town. There are two power plants in Alaveri. One began producing power in 1955. One is now redundant and has been replaced by a new more modern power plant.
and it's home to the biggest cement factory in Greece. We took advantage of this time by getting some maintenance done that we haven't been able to do over the coldest winter in 30 years. Thank you to all the people that take the time to comment on our videos. You really give us the motivation to make the next one. And a big shout out to our Kofi supporters, Tim Griffin, Rachel Andrews of Average Athlete Rach. Please find her link in the description below. And Trev Hedges of YouTube Sailing Channels on Facebook. And last but not least, a big, big thank you to our Patreon captains, Matthew Clark and Michael Barris. Tell us what's happened, honey. Uh, Nelson's favourite toy has gone in the water. Oh, no. And who threw it? Uh, we can't, we can't uh, ascertain blame at the moment, but we think it's Hannah. <laughs> It'll be the one that's in the swimming pool, <coughs> in the swimming costume, swimming around in this delightful oh, water. Has she passed out yet? I think it's about three meters. Nelson, what's happened? Nelson, Nelson what's happened? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? It's down here. He's looking for his toy. Can't find it. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? It's just down here. Hannah's gone to get it. So Hannah accidentally threw the toy in the water. Felt guilty enough she had to go and get a swimming costume on and get it out for him. Nelson, and now he's like, I don't want it. It's so now James is actually rinsing the toy as well for the dog. Some might say he's spoiled. <laughs>